Ladies and gentlemen, hello, and welcome to a very special stream and a very special video that I wasn't planning on doing. Boy, do I have the story to tell you. So. <laughs> First of all, tonight, if you contribute anyone, this will be an interactive stream. If you do contribute in any way, all right, um... I will uh, do my best to shout out any, you know, shout out stuff. Thank you. For example, Hot Pocket tipped me a dollar fifty and says, "I hope you called the police." Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Actually, that was a dollar twenty-five, wasn't it? No, I don't know. I deleted it already. Um, yes, it is the same person because then they took a dollar twenty-eight. It said, "Hopefully, you called the police." If not, that was stupid. Now you're getting ahead of yourself. So people are watching this. They're like, call the police. Wait, what's the story Phil's about to tell us? You're, you've gotten ahead of yourself. You can't, you can't, you have to start. When you're telling a story, it's important always. There's a pro tip for everyone out there. When you're going to tell a story, you have to start that story from the beginning. And then gradually, as more details unfold, you allow that story to blossom and grow into a narrative. You can't just start at the end. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. You got way ahead of yourself. He said, call the cops. No, no, no. You don't start by calling the cops. You have to tell the story first. For God's sakes. Okay? Anyway, thank you. That was a hot pocket. So, yes, if contributions do come in tonight, much appreciated. Especially with the story I'm about to tell you. And uh, I will shout them out and I will do my best. Okay? So, here we go. So... I'm here after having a great week and a half of streaming. Everything going great. We're ending the week on a strong note. I'm doing my Zelda Tears of the Kingdom stream earlier. I have a giant hole in my sock. Holy shit. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the hole in my sock. Like everything else isn't bad enough. Look at this. There's holes in my sock. You can see it. A hole. God damn it. Anyway. Let's get back to the story. So I'm I'm streaming Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Okay? We're having a good time. Right? We're about two hours into my stream. It's time for my break. Okay? So I go on my break and I lift up my phone and I notice, oh shit. My wife has been texting me for about 30 minutes or so. But, you know, I've been playing the game. So I'm not paying attention to my phone particularly. Um, you know, as you guys know, I have everything on silent in the office on purpose so that there's no distractions during streams. Um, kind of necessary when you've been doxxed multiple times and all your shit's on the internet. You got to make sure everything's, you know, silent so you don't get interrupted. And so as soon as I go on break, I see this like, oh shit. So I call her right away. I said, what's going on? And she says, so basically... She was getting... I, I, I Actually, I don't even remember what the story was exactly because the whole thing hit me so hard. I don't know if she was going on break or she was actually getting out of work or whatever it was. She was leaving her job and she walked into the parking lot. And as she's walking to the car, she realizes... She's looking at it she's like, what in the hell? Our car, get this, which is locked, secure, everything should be safe is supported by a car jack and a tire is missing. Okay? If you don't believe me, I have evidence. That is our car in the parking lot of where my wife works missing a fucking tire. The entire tire. Not just the rubber. The entire tire has been removed. And as if to be extra dickish, they took the lug nuts. They took those fucking lug nuts with them. They did not leave them. Okay? That is what she sees when she's coming out to the car after work. So, the funny thing is they left their jack. But I hate to tell you guys this. I'm not sure if you're aware 
what do they call it? Economies of scale, or you know, the 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 the, the, the law of equivalent exchange. The value of a car's entire wheel is not equivalent to the value of a car jack. It is a very unfair exchange. And although I appreciate the fact that they actually left the car jack, all right, sadly, it is not a fair trade. And I am sorry, I appreciate the, 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 the nice gesture perhaps, but it's just not right, okay? So this is what my wife sees when she's going out to her car. Like, what the fuck? So, she runs back inside, and of course, first thing she does, she tells you know, the other people she works with what's going on. They call mall security. Mall security gets involved, comes out, looks at the car, and the mall security basically says, well, we can't touch anything. We're not true investigators. We can't do anything here with that. You gotta call the police. You gotta file a police report. That's how it's handled. And then once the police are involved, it's the police's job then to contact you and us. And when they contact us, they may ask us for information. All right? Now, the good news here is that at the shopping center where, you know, my wife works, there's cameras everywhere. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I wish this was an exaggerated joke. It's literally not. There is an actual camera set up about 20, 30 feet away from where this happened in the parking lot, it's right there. It's a security camera. And it's, it, you know, ha must have gotten something on video of this. It had to have. Okay? But what you got to understand is around here, crime is very high. So there's potential that if someone actually did this, there's absolutely no way that they're going to get them because likely they were probably wearing a hoodie, a mask. They were probably wearing things that would, you know, hide their identity. And you might say... Well, if someone's going to steal your entire wheel off of your car, they couldn't just walk away with it. They must have had, like, somewhere to put it. I mean, you're right. They probably drove up in a car, removed it, tossed it in their car, and drove away. But the question is, uh, you know, would that have been caught on camera? You know, what information? Could the car have a license plate? Or is it a fake license plate, a stolen, expired license plate on, on a car doing this kind of stuff? Correct? So... My wife is talking with mall security about this at this shopping center and basically getting all this information about what she should do, how she should file a police report. And, you know, then I went on break. I called her and she's like, well, you know, I, I don't even know what to do. And I was like, well, let me think about this. Is there a spare in the trunk? So they checked and there is a spare tire in the trunk. All right. That's good. The problem is there's no lug nuts because they took the lug nuts. Okay. So you can't just put the spare tire on. You need to get lug nuts for the damn thing to put it on, okay? So that's issue number one. Issue number two is how quickly could you maybe, like, get a replacement wheel? And the answer is if it was just the tire, you could take it to any tire place. Like, you could literally take this to, um, whatchamacallit, um, uh, like Goodyear or something like that. And you could probably get a tire right away, and it wouldn't even be an issue, Right? But the fact is, they took the whole wheel. So I need to get a spe specific wheel type for this car, which likely they probably don't even have something like that just sitting around in stock, right? So already you're talking about that's going to be a pain in the butt, right? It's not just, oh, just get the tire replaced like the tire popped. It's, oh, the whole freaking assembly is missing off of the car, okay? So um, that's the issue there. So we're talking about what should I do? So in the meantime, I said to my wife, I said, let me call. My dad knows more about cars. He'll, he'll kind of know. He'll, he'll be more minded on what to do about this. In the meantime, you know, work there with the security and file a police report. Get that moving so that way that's in process while on my end I try to figure out what else we're going to do here. Okay? So I call my dad and we have a conversation about it. My dad is very level-headed about this stuff. And he says basically... Um, you know, you basically got to get it to a car place. You got to get them to, to look and basically see what tires and order one for you. There's nothing you can do about it. You have, they have to, they're going to have to order a tire. They're not going to have one there. Um, but it really is a situation where, you know, can I get this spare tire on the car and drive it around? Is it secure? Is the spare tire good? Right? And the good news is I've owned this car since it was new 
and I never used a spare tire before. So the spare tire should be fine, okay? Just an issue that I don't have any lug nuts for the damn thing because they took them, okay? I'm talking with my dad, and he's like, yeah, so what you basically got to do is see if you can get that spare on, great. If you can't get that spare on, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to call a car place, see if they recommend a towing service that could tow the car to the car place, and then that car place can essentially see if they can order a new tire for you or whatever, or not just tire, but a whole new wheel for you or whatever. So basically, I talked it out with my dad, like what exactly I should do, what are the steps, because I didn't want to go out there, because, you know, I'm probably going to end up going out there myself to, to, to help handle it, you know, quite frankly, you know, Cat is kind of shaken about this, you know, you go out to your car, you have a whole missing freaking wheel, you're kind of just shaken up about it, and I want to get out there to help her with the whole situation, so I'm there with her, we can handle it together as a couple, rather than just one person trying to figure it all out, all right, so, basically, uh, I get off the phone with my dad, and, uh, oh, by the way, and we talked about insurance, okay, and essentially with insurance, the way that it would work is the only chance insurance would cover this. There's certain situations. Some insurance will not cover a tire at all. Some will. It's situational. But there, the insurance is like not even a factor at this point because there's so much that has to happen before you can get any kind of car insurance involved. For example, we need a police report. The police likely have to get information from us, like this photo and other stuff. And then they'll likely want to check with the surveillance um, and all of that to see what they can determine if they can figure out who this is or not. All right, and then after all that's done, all right, then you can worry about maybe after having the replacement tire and everything done or replacement wheel. I should see saying wheel because there's a difference between the tire and the wheel. The tire is just the rubber. The wheel is the entire assembly with it. Okay. So once all that's done, once the entire replacement wheel is purchased, then you can look to me, go to your insurance, give them a call and say, hey, look, so here's the deal. My, my wheel got stolen. You know, I have evidence. There's a police report. There's all this involved. Can we get a claim against it? Can we maybe get this, you know? But also there's other factors there, you know, about deductibles and shit, right? So depending on what if, what if your deductible is more than the cost of the, the wheel, then there's no point in even doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So anyway, um... It's just, it basically, we're in the situation where I'm like, I don't care about the insurance at this point. I just need to get the immediate stuff solved, okay? So what I ended up doing was I actually called uh, a couple places and got some details on where to take it and stuff like that, all right? And I, uh, I said, well, I got to get out there. So I called an Uber. I jumped in an Uber, and I scooted over to the mall, all right? It was actually a nice guy who drove the Uber. Very nice gentleman. And it was a nice smooth ride. He was quick. So I was I was happy about that. I actually gave him a tip after the fact. Because I guess on Uber what you can do is you can pay the fare. But then after the fact if you have a good ride you can tip. I actually gave him a tip. Because I thought it was a nice ride. He was a nice person. Okay. Um. So I got over there. Uh, you know on the Uber. And uh, you know I'm, I'm just as shocked as you guys are. I saw this in person. I was just like in broad daylight. This is the middle of the day this happened. This was not at night. This was not, you know, this is not off in in a corner, right? A corner of the lot. This was like, uh, you know, right there in the middle. In the middle. <laughs> I'm just, what the fuck? Seriously, what the fuck? Okay. Um, okay, hold on. I got a couple shout outs. Let's do shout outs. Stitches get britches did a super chat saying no one steals a single tire laughing out loud. I know Let's talk a little bit about that because when I got there mall security was there and I had a, a conversation with them Okay, but uh, thank you stitches get britches So I show up I get out of the uber and mall security is there with my wife and so they're talking and everything and So I have a conversation with security about it again and basically they're like, yeah, there's nothing we can do. We're just security here. But we need to, you need to file the police report. And my wife's like, actually, I'm doing it right now. Like, she was doing it as we speak. You would go online to file this uh, police report, okay? So she's doing it. She's putting all this information in and everything about it. And, uh, you know, I think she, you know, the picture, I think she, I don't know if she uploaded the picture or not. But basically the police report's all done online now. Unless it's an emergency. 
If it's an emergency, you call like 911 so the cops will show up. But if it's not an emergency, you literally, you don't even talk to anyone. If you call the police here, you will never speak to a person. It just goes to an automated menu and you must select options that just tell you go online and file anyway. So she's filed an online police report for it. And we were told they will contact us. We don't know when, but they're going to contact us for follow-up information, um, which I will give wholeheartedly. And basically, uh, what we're being told is they will contact the mall security if they wish to launch an investigation for this. And then they will work with mall security to get the surveillance footage and work there. And we should be given like a case number and a follow-up and all of that at a later date. So that way we'll have that information if I choose to go to my car insurance to try to do anything about this with my car insurance, okay? So I can't do anything with my car insurance until the police decide to do something and then I get a case number and all that, all of that stuff, okay? Um, so there you go. Lysifer sold in another super chat and he says, they steal cal catalytic converters during broad daylight in Walmart parking lot, so I'm not surprised they stole your tire in broad daylight. There you go. Thank you, Lysifer so. I believe you, by the way, on that. I really do. Okay. <clears throat> so, after speaking with mall security, they're basically saying, yeah, there's not much we can do to help you, but uh, you have a spare, you know, my, wi my wife and mall security had checked, and the spare tire's in the trunk. It appears to be intact and new and good to go. Like, the spare tire seems fine. Problem is, I don't have any lug nuts, okay? So, in the meantime, I had called, like, a tow place, and had a conversation with a tow guy, a local tow guy. And I explained, I want you to tow it, you know, to a, to a place near me uh, that can that can order tires or whatever. Because um, I need to order a tire right away, obviously. I need a tire for this thing and we'll have to talk about options or whatever. Okay. And so the tow guy says, well, here's the deal. He says, I'm already in your neighborhood anyway. So I'll come by. He says, but if you can go get, find some lug nuts or whatever in the meantime and you can put your spare on, then you should drive your car to the car place, not me. That's going to save you a ton of money. And I was like, I understand that. That's actually quite nice of you. Um, let me go see what I can do. But in the meantime, he says, I'll be on the way anyway, okay? So I actually walked, and in the actual shopping center, which I didn't know, there actually was a, car, a place that has car parts. So I walked in, and I said, I need five lug nuts for a 2017, you know, Toyota. And they went and looked and said, we have them. Okay? So I was handed a handful of lug nuts for a few bucks. All right, take that back. It was around $10. Okay? All right. So this is good news. Maybe I can get this spare tire on myself. Okay? So I go back to the car. I pull the spare tire out. I, you know, start to line up the tire and everything. So it's lined up. And I go to start put, to put the lug nuts on. This one, okay, this one's going on. This one's going... Huh? Well, that's just my luck. They handed me a handful of lug nuts. Four of them are correct, and one of them is incorrect size. <laughs> so I got four out of five lug nuts that are correct, okay? It's just my luck. Good news is, you can drive with four lug nuts instead of five. That's actually passable, all right? So, well, that's just it, right? So anyway, I'm affixing the lug nuts, and as I'm affixing the lug nuts... The tow guy shows up, and he gets out of his car, and he says, all right, so let's see how's everything's going here. And he's like, let's take, he looks, he's like, yep, those are the right lug nuts and everything. Yeah, they're fitting fine. And uh, so basically, I'm putting them all on, and it's like, good. He's, I was like, dude, I, I seriously, and this is truth, I haven't changed a tire in like 20 years. The last time I changed a tire was on my Grand Am um, in, the, in the 2000s. That car had issues, and t times I popped my tire at a slow tire, and I, I changed the tire on that a few times. This is the first time I actually changed a car in a very long time. So I'm making sure, you know, it's nice to have someone there with you to say, I know what I'm doing and you're doing it right. You know, not that I couldn't have figured it out, but it's nice to have someone there to confirm you're doing it correctly. Okay. So I got them on and then I go get the, whatever the thing is, the wrench from the, you know, where that was with the spare and I tighten them all on. Okay. And then I go, okay. Um, now I got to get now, oh, by the way, everything's good. And uh, I'm like, okay, so now I got to get it off the jack. I'm, we're both looking at this jack. And I realized something. I said, wait a minute. So I got my wrench. All I have is my wrench, and I have my, uh, you know, my spare tire, and I have my own jack in the trunk. My own jack, car jack is in the trunk. 
but it's I'm not using it. Obviously, this person who stole my tire, it's their car jack that's on the car right now. Okay? So I'm like, all right, so let me get the car off the jack, get it down on the ground. And I realized, I'm looking around, I'm like, I don't have a tool that fits their car jack. Their car jacks, there's a hole that you're supposed to stick something in and twist it to, to make it go up or down. It's a different size than any of the tools in my car set. They're all different. They don't fit. They're all too big, actually. They won't fit in the hole, so you can take the car jack down. And I was like, uh, oh, shit. Like, what do I do now? I can't get the jack down. So luckily, the guy who was the tow guy says, all right, hold on. And he went into his, his car, and he had a giant wrench. Or not wrench, excuse me. Screwdriver. Like, huge. This thing was, like, this long. And it's essentially, it's a two-in-one tool. It's a screwdriver, but it's also used for stuff just like this. So he luckily had a, a long screwdriver that fit in this jack, and he got my car down onto the ground. If it wasn't for him, I would have had to go beg people in the car parking lot or go maybe back to the car place and be like, can someone come over here and test tools so we find a tool that fits this goddamn jack so we can get my car off the ground? Like, there was no other way that I was going to get this jack undone. The jack is down. The car is on the ground. Okay, we're, we're basically pushing, testing. Looks like, okay, the spare looks like it's it's good. It's not great. Everyone knows spare tires aren't great. You're not supposed to drive long distances on them. You're not supposed to drive on the highway. You're not supposed to drive fast on them. Essentially, if you need to do essentials and get your car from point A to point B, you put the spare on, but you don't drive around on the spare for more than you absolutely need to. Okay, it's just for very necessary things. All right? So, I, uh, we're testing it. It looks good. And uh, he's basically like, yeah, just be sure you test your, t your your air pressure. You know, that thing's been in your trunk for, you know, years and years. So just be sure that that air pressure is good. And the thing is, I actually have a tire inflator in my garage. I have one already. So, you know, we didn't figure I'm going to get it home. I'm definitely going to check it, make sure it's good, make sure it's filled and everything for, you know, having to drive this around for necessary places. Okay. But in the meantime, I drove the car to the car place. Okay from the shopping center to the car place. And so we show up and basically we go through the rigmarole of what we're going to have to do. And he's like, "Yeah, we don't we don't have uh you know, we don't have the uh the wheel in stock. We don't have entire wheels. We have the tire. If we needed just the tire replaced, all right? That would have been fine. But we need the whole thing. I order the whole wheel." He's like, "So we got to order it." Now, the good news is, what's going on? People are saying things are going on that are racist and stuff. I'm not seeing it. I don't know what you mean. Hold on. Let me see if I can find what you guys are chatting about. Because I don't know what you're saying. Hold on. If there's some idiot here, I'll get rid of him. Liza Versoul, did you say something ridiculously uh, racist? If you did, you're going to be in a lot of trouble, dude. <laughs> Seriously. Lies were sold. You can't say racist shit. I mean, come on. Stop being a fucking idiot. All right. Anyway, at this point, I guess I can... Let's let's get rid of this picture because the car now has a spare tire on it. So at least I can I can drive the car on the spare tire. By the way, the car is actually not bad on the spare tire. It drove fine. Just that it's a little bit harder to turn, I would say. But outside of that, it's pretty fair. It's a fair spare tire. It's not bad. And it seems like it's, it is inflated. It seems fine. I mean, it doesn't look good. Everyone knows spare tires look like shit. But at least I could drive the car on it. It seemed all right. Um, so anyway, oh, by the way, we have shout outs to do. All right, let's do the shout outs and then we'll continue the story. What? Washington police don't care. File online. Looks to me like Washington police don't give a, don't give a crap. Uh, it's because the crime out here is so bad. They can't deal with that kind of stuff. I'm serious. Like there's so much crime out here. I would much rather have them deal with violent crime and, and major problems than something that there's nothing they can do after the fact. Like what? Realistically. What were they going to do? Dust for prints? No. Right? What were they going to do? What we did. Document. Took a picture. Gave the details. And talked to the security guys about the security camera footage. They don't need to be there for that until they're ready to show up. You know what I'm saying? So, in reality, I kind of understand. If you're if you're so crime-ridden where you live that you need to be avail available just for the essentials, I don't blame them for having a file your police port online, you know, and then get followed up with later service. I wouldn't be surprised if I don't hear from them for days, and by the time that they follow up with me, they've already talked to, like, the mall police and everything about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't be surprised at all, okay? 
He says, man, you know, this isn't about a vest or anything. This is just fucked up. I hope Kat's doing okay. I'm sure it was scary. Did she walk out to them doing it? No. She, when she walked out, they were already long gone. Well, that picture I showed you is literally, this is what she saw when she walked out. So there was no one else there. We're, actually, I should bring that up for a second. Because when I showed up, all right, excuse me, when, no, when I showed up, I was talking about mall security. And I was like, you know, we were having a conversation and we came to the conclusion, probably the reason they only took one tire is probably because someone saw it. Or maybe they were doing it and in the, in the process of doing it, they realized that there was a camera right there. And they were like, oh shit, I guess we shouldn't really be doing this for too long. And then they left. You know what I'm saying? Like, what would have stopped them from taking all four tires at that point? They usually could have just went boop, 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 boop and took them all, right? So maybe that's what it is, is that they were they realized after the fact or they saw someone coming by and they were like, whoa, you know, we got to get out of here. Because you're right, it's weird that it's just the one and then they're gone, right? Very weird. Anyway, thank you, Jinx. And again, you're right, it's not about the vest, it's not about goals or anything tonight. I'm just trying to tell my story of what just happened, okay? Thank you for the tip. But you're right, like, it's weird they only took the one tire. It's very weird that they only took the one. So anyway, here's the good news. The tow guy is so nice, right? So once the tow guy gets the car down onto the ground, all right, and he helped me with that because, I mean, I, he, I didn't need help getting the tire on, but I needed help. I couldn't undo that jack. I didn't have a tool that would fit it. He's like, you know what, dude? You know, you're good. Don't worry about having to pay me nothing or anything. That, I, I, I was all right. Consider this a break. And he had a cigarette. He's like, consider this having a break. I was like, that, dude, you gave me a, a real solid here today. And I, I shook his hand. I said, thank you very, very much. That's really nice of you that you came out here just to kind of supervise. I didn't need the tow, thank God. Because he, he literally said to me, he's like, just so you know, if I tow your car, it's going to be like two $300. And I was like, yeah, so let's hope I get this thing working. And it did. So basically, uh, you know, it, it worked out fine in that regard. Um, the, the, the spare was on, and uh, the tow guy didn't charge me anything. So that was very, very nice, okay? Um, all right, so then I drove the car across town, got to a, a car place, and basically the car place says, yes, we have to order you. We can't just get you a tire. We have to get you the entire wheel assembly. That's the only way it's going to work, obviously, duh. Um, but we don't have one here. What I am doing, I'm looking here, and it looks like we have one that's in the area and or, or that's on order. We can get it here in two days. Well, that's good news. Two days, they'd order it tonight, and it would either show up, you know, Thursday at the earliest, Friday, at maybe the latest Saturday, but they're hoping it'll be here by, like, Friday, Friday-ish. Okay? So that's really cool. All right? Two days, that's not a big deal. It means that my wife will be able to go to work like normal when she has her normal working hours coming up. Okay? So, they put it on order, and let me just put it this way. I said something at the beginning of this video, in the beginning of this stream. I said, everyone was like, oh, Phil, right? So great for you. <laughs> All that extra money that you raised, right? And, uh, you know, and I said, no, we're going to keep that money just in case something, you know, something comes up, right? That's literally what I said. I said, we're going to keep that money just in case something comes up. Well, guess what? Something came up. Because, just to let you know, it's going to be just about under $700. Just under, I believe. Actually, he didn't give me the final total. I think it was 600 and change plus tax. Out here, tax is high. It's like 10% or something like that. Okay? So, yeah. Now, here's the thing. I could have looked around. What, what I was being told by certain people, for example, when I went to the car place, I bought the lug nuts. The guy was like, if you really want to save money, you should go to, like, scrap yards. And you should be fishing out there for tires at scrap yards. That's what, you know what I mean? Um, do you really think I have time to go from scrap yard to scrap yard looking for a wheel for my car? Right? I don't even have another way to get around. I don't have a spare car. You know what I mean? So... Basically, what am I going to do? I have to pay it for this freaking tire and wheel assembly. It's not just... If it was just the tire, it would have probably been like 200 bucks. But it's the wheel assembly that ended up being like 400 plus dollars. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, it's, it's insane, right? So there you go. And, uh, and it's on order. And the good news is there's no additional fee. There's no ins installation charge. Basically, what I... You know, the, the cost of the wheel... And the tire is it. There's nothing on top of any of that. 
but it just sucks. And there is one big negative. You ready? I'm no longer going to have the Toyota symbol in the middle of my tire. And that's just the worst part. The fact that I'm paying top dollar for a new tire and a new wheel assembly, and I'm not getting the Toyota symbol in the middle. Now, I'm very upset. Everything else... I might have forgiven, but no Toyota symbol, that's where I draw the line. Now I'm fucking pissed off. By the way, it's hilarious because some people are actually saying that that's way too expensive. You have to understand it's brand new, not driven, it's not used, and this is ordered from a warehouse or whatever. That's what it costs new at these places. You understand? That's exactly what it costs new at these places. Yes, if you get it secondhand used, you'll save a ton of money. Absolutely you will. Like I said, go to a scrapyard, go to a place that just has it used. You'll save ridiculous amounts of money. You absolutely will. You'll probably get it for like 100, 200 bucks. But I'm getting the new stuff and that's what it costs. Okay? It would be different. If I had a spare car to drive around or for my wife to go to work in, then I would wait and I would actually look around. But I can't do that. I don't have the luxury of doing that. I have to get this as soon as possible, have it done with so that we can move on and basically now uh you know talking with with cat what we need to do is from now on when she goes to work she has to always try to park in a place where it's like crowded like super crowded because if she parks somewhere out there where it's a little bit spacious or whatever this is probably what's going to happen they're probably targeting those areas oh not a lot of cars around let's get them let's get that car right uh if you're at least think of it this way if you're parking in a in an area that's very very crowded well guess what do you think they're going to try to fit between two cars and jack it up and steal your wheel? Of course not. They're going to go out to the cars that are out out there easy to get under, easy to do this shit with. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, it is what it is. It sucks. You know, is it fortuitous for me that I literally just had a week and a half of exceptionally great streaming? Yes, it is. But as I told you guys, it's funny. It's, it's They say it's easy come, easy go. You know what I mean? So, I just made a lot of extra income on a week and a half of streams. And then what happens is, immediately this happens, and I just pissed away a giant chunk of what I made. Just like that. It's gone. Just finger snap it. Th Thanos it away. You know? And like I said, the other, the other money, I put, I put some of it already towards some bills already, which is nice. Um, that I paid down some bills and stuff. But outside of that, you know, what, what else am I going to do? So, what I got to do now is I got to wait. First of all, I have a spare tire. So, tomorrow is still my day off. And tomorrow, I still got to do the essentials. So, for example, uh, I need to drive to the grocery store and do grocery shopping. You know, I have to do that tomorrow. We have no food to, to make in the house for the week. I have to do that. That's fine. The spare tire is fine. The grocery store is close. It's not like I'm driving 400 miles on this spare tire or anything. It's not a big deal. I can easily do this myself. Um... And get that done tomorrow. The good news is, last week was our very busy day out. Alright? So, the crazy stuff we needed to do. All the shopping and, and all of that that we needed to do. We actually got done last week. This week was already going to be a very more relaxing, laid-back day home. And just me doing necessary errands. And that's exactly what it's going to be. Is I have to just run necessary errands while I'm out. And uh, that's all I can really do. Or I'm kind of limited in what I'm doing. Alright? So... It is what it is. Now, the tire is going to be coming probably Friday, Saturday. Yes, when the tire arrives and I get the call, that means it's going to affect my streams this weekend. It will. Absolutely, 100%. It will affect my streams this weekend. How much or when? I, I don't know. Okay? I just don't know um, what to tell you. I'm looking, you know, looking at the situation. Will it affect, you know, a Zelda stream? Will it affect the React stream? What will? I don't know. It depends on when... Basically, we, uh, when we get the call, okay? So, what can I say? I'll let you know, uh, and go from there, okay? So, it sucks. And really, again, there's not much I can do about that, right? There's not much I can do at all, um, besides just my wife being more careful where she parks and try to park in areas where it doesn't think people are going to do that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Um, no real control over or over crime or any of this. Now, of course, when the police do eventually get around to contacting me, I'm absolutely going to proceed with making sure that police report is followed up on and that hopefully they will contact the mall security and they will do their best 
to get security footage from the lot to figure out what the hell happened here. Um, and basically try to get uh, all that they can all right, out of this and hopefully find someone who did it. Will they? I don't think so. I have zero, zero belief that this will happen. I guarantee you whoever did it probably is, is, you know, they had a hoodie or had a mask on or whatever and likely they're not driving around in a car that's easily going to have a license plate that you can immediately get, get, get them. You know what I mean? Like, you'd be an idiot, right? So, now... When the police report's filed, should I even bother calling my insurance, my car insurance? I don't know, because likely, I'll be honest, I don't know off the top of my head what my car insurance deductible is. Okay, I just don't know. I have to call them to find out. I'll tell you this, I, I guarantee you, probably most car places, car insurance deductibles are around $1,000, okay? Um, so likely it's not going to matter, because even if I call them, they're going to be like, well, you didn't reach your deductible yet. You have to pay that amount before we'll start actually covering above and beyond. And then on top of that, I actually heard that a lot of places, um, you know, a lot of places sadly will not uh, grant it anyway. They'll say that it's like a theft of a tire would not be covered. If I got into a car accident, that's covered by your auto insurance. But just a tire being taken right off your fucking car, that would not be covered. Okay? So, in summary, yes, we had our, our entire wheel stolen off of our car today while my wife was at work. Looks like this, all right? We got some brakes, meaning I didn't have to have it towed, which was excellent. It saved me hundreds of dollars to not have the car towed. Uh, but yeah, it costs us, it's gonna cost us a pretty penny. It's gonna cost us between six to $700 for the replacement wheel. The wheel should be coming Friday, Saturday-ish. Yes, that will affect my weekend streams. I will let you know exactly what, when, this will affect my streams when I get the information about it, all right? And then on top of that, uh, you know, I am going to follow up and I'm going to make sure that when the police call me that we give them all the information and if they can do something about it, great. And if not, I have absolutely positively no uh, inkling that the police will be able to do much, nor do I have any kind of belief that... Um, I'm going to get anything out of my car insurance. I think it's just going to be all on me to pay. How is Cat? Cat is rattled. Cat admittedly is rattled. I mean, nothing happened to her, thank God. But, you know, it's somewhere you work. And it's a place where literally, you know, tons of people are working and, and shopping every day. And it's just not safe, you know. Now she has to worry every day about, you know, going to work and what's going to happen when I go to work. Right? You know? And all like I told her, all she can do is she has to park better, better places, basically, safer places, where, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to be a situation where you're kind of isolated, and then they think they could do crimes to you, you have to, as, as much as it sucks to park in a real crowded, annoying, you know, area, it feels like you're sardines in a can or whatever, you kind of got to do that these days, you got to be up close and crushed with everyone, right, in order to, uh, be able to, uh, be safe, it's absolutely positively freaking ridiculous, right? By the way, I'm just going to ban every single idiotic person who says something dumb in the chat right now. I swear to God, you are the biggest fucking morons if you think you're going to come on this stream tonight and you're going to say dumb shit in my chat. It is an instant fucking ban the moment you say something stupid. Test me on it. I dare you. Fucking idiots. Saying the dumbest shit calm down now okay so yes cat is rattled cat is stressed cat really be honest is like i don't feel safe and like i don't blame you you know i don't blame her when something like this happens how can you feel safe about your workplace right and all she could do is take precautions okay all right so guys uh that's my story that's what happened today. That's why I had to leave my Zelda stream an hour early. And that's what's going to cost me. Well, it has cost me, you know, between six and 700 bucks. I didn't even look. That's the thing. I didn't even look. Like, I think he said it was 600 and change plus tax. And out here, tax is like 10%. So that's another 60 bucks on top of that. So it's probably like 700 something, you know. <laughs> it's life, right? <clears throat> so, we're, so don't worry. We're all right. Okay? We're fine. Nothing horrible happened. 
it's just really fucking stupid that this happened. It's expensive that it happened. It's the other thing. It's not a little thing that's like, oh, that's easily replaceable. Actually, no. It's expensive to fucking replace this. And now we got to take precautions and try to do it in a place where, you know, they're not going to try to pull this by parking different places and even then. And I know some people have recommended they said you could get special lug nuts. My dad told me that. My dad said, since this has happened to us now, I might want to look into getting special lug nuts. Um where you, I guess what it is is a specialty one that I guess it really locks in hard or something. I don't exactly know how it works. But I guess this specialty lug nut that locks everything in place so the, the tire can't easily be removed or something. I don't I have no clue how they work, right? A wheel lock? Is that what they're called? Wheel locking nuts? Butter says these nuts would have a specialty key. There's a special key the owner keeps. Only the owner can unlock the nut. That's interesting. It's about 30 bucks for a set of lock nuts. I'll have to look into that. Maybe I'll look online, see if I can get a set of specialty lock nuts for my, my Toyota. Maybe it's worth doing. Perhaps it is worth doing, right? So, so that's my story. That's all I've really got to talk about tonight. If you guys want to go longer and chat it up for, you know, I'll, I'll do Q&A and hang out with you guys.